All right, so it looks like we've got another request coming. So uh, recently I got a request from one of my friends in the group chat um, that I am a part of. Um, his name is Alex and he requested uh, a bit of an inside joke that he and I have going on um, and have, have had going on for a little while. If you guys are familiar with Pokemon, you'll probably know about the Pokemon Cyndaquil. And he and I, I'm not gonna explain the whole thing, but he and I have an inside joke about uh, a Cyndaquil robot. And he made a request to me finally uh, that I should just draw one on the channel. And so um, after, this was after I drew my siren head, so I'm pretty much taking requests now from people and um, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna be drawing a Cyndaquil robot and I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I've done a practice one, but that was a quite a long time ago and um, I hope I can recreate it. And yes, I will address the elephant in the room. I am very, very badly sunburned. The, uh, the sun is just beaming down right now where I live and I keep going outside without sunscreen and it's terrible. <sighs> my arms are, my arms are really red and uh, I've got a pretty bad sunburn line right there and pretty bad watch tan line, sunburn line right there. But um, yeah, hopefully that's not too distracting for you guys and uh, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so Alex has actually already done this on his channel, which is called Stromboli Dude. He created it recently, and uh, he's got some really cool content on there already. You guys should go check him out. Link will be in the description. But um, yeah, he he did this um, on his channel, and we have very very different styles, and we're each good at different things. Like Alex is really really good at working on humans, and you know. Um, Kind of mechanical stuff and i'm a little bit better at organic creatures and specifically dragons but um yeah so this uh cyndaquil robot um it might <laughs> the 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 way it's kind of like the pistons are everywhere probably wouldn't actually work in real life i'm just gonna say that but um yeah uh it just makes it just adds detail and i want as much detail in there as possible so yeah, the Cyndaquil robot, um, I, I had already done it before on a practice paper in my old drawing notebook. And um, I knew as soon as Alex told me uh, or requested this to me, um, I immediately came up with this kind of general design. So he, got, he has the, the flamethrowers on his back which, uh, you know, Cyndaquil has the ability to like shoot fire from his back and I wanted to kind of, you know, put that into like a, uh, hit my microphone, that probably sounded wonderful. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try and put the, the flamethrowers on his back and move the camera here and um, kind of make it more like grounded in reality. Uh, and then Cyndaquil is supposed to usually have his eyes closed, but um, with the Cyndaquil robot, I made like a very, very thin slit eye, and um, yeah, did that. And got his power core in there um, to make his chest look less flat, and then um, added a propane tank on the back, or what would I, what I would assume would be a propane tank or some other kind of flammable gas to you know, fuel the flamethrowers on his back, and um, yeah, overall, pretty simple design, and this video is a lot shorter, uh, just like my other request videos, it's not the longest thing in the world, but yeah, so uh, overall, really, really pleased with how this turned out, and um, Alex, if you're watching this, I hope you approve of this design, so yeah. Be sure to go check out Alex's uh, channel, Stromboli Dude. Uh, again, link will be in the description. And yeah, enjoy the rest of Cyndaquil's time lapse. Hopefully, I'll put music in it this time.
So ladies and gents, that is the Cyndaquil robot. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, looks really, really mean and really, really, you know, rugged and like he would just be able to burn down a whole city by himself. And um, yeah, but one thing that I learned when doing the practice one was looks way better in color. So give me a few minutes and I'll be back with the colored version. And there we have it. So for you guys, that was probably a really quick transition, but for me, it took about 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, so yeah, here we have Cyndaquil Robot in Cyndaquil's basic color scheme with a few gray details in there and um, gray, red, you know, all the cool looking stuff. And f so for his eye, we've got kind of a very, very subtle color gradation with some uh, red glow around it and the same for the power core and then of course orange and yellow on the fire and blue mixed with green on the top of his head and down his back and on his shoulders and then just basic skin tone peach color for the rest of it and um, yeah I think that looks pretty cool you could definitely tell it's Cyndaquil even though it's in a robot form and um, overall really really pleased with how this turned out especially the coloring the j just the glow on his eye makes it just that much better in my opinion but of course if you guys liked it then please do be sure to leave a like on the video and if you guys didn't like it go ahead and leave a dislike and if you think you you would like to see more of this kind of stuff please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video but uh, with that I think I'm out of here so I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully coming soon and not in four days. Peace.